You having a heart attack? Did you have them before? Yes. You have? So you're familiar with the yes. feeling? Okay. Yes. Do you have someone we can call for the dog? If we take her to the hospital by ambulance? Well, well, we can't take her in the I'm ambulance. Not going in the ambulance. Okay. I just want to let you. I, oh, I just, she's staying with me. Okay. Well, if you, if you think you're having a heart attack, it's probably a good idea you go into the hospital to get checked out. I, I don't want for you to, to drive out of here if you're having a heart attack and then you end up going unconscious and causing an accident. It would that, serve everybody right. Well, no, it's not. That wouldn't be right. It's not like going back. Are you nauseated at all, ma'am? Yes, I am. Molly, I mean, I, back, please. Mary Jo, do you see that green assist? Not going to respond to Highly recommend if you think you're having a heart attack that we take you to the hospital. Which that would set you right, but what I worry about is you driving from here and having a heart attack on your way home. If you have a heart attack Whatever and you happens, happens. no, it doesn't. But if you have a heart attack when you're driving and you go unconscious and you're driving, and you cross the center line and kill some innocent people. That's what I worry about. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill no. There's no innocent people. In this yeah, well, yeah, there is. Fine. I'm not going to the hospital. Okay, I, I understand that. We can't force you to go to the hospital. I can drive you home, ma'am. If we're, we just, we can just get you to the passenger side, I can drive your car, we can go home, and the truck will follow us, and then they'll pick me up after. Is that fine? If you don't, because we don't want you to drive, is basically what it is. Because if you have an event while you're driving, you can hurt yourself or somebody else. So I'm willing to drive you home, and they'll pick me up right after. And if you're not feeling well, why don't you let us take you to the hospital? You're all sweaty and you're no, hurting I'm like you're. I'm not going to the hospital. Let PD let her drive home. Okay. 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 Okay.
Cross. I can take you home. It's no problem. Engine two five six two dash four for FBA power and corner. It's perfectly safe here. I'll talk to management. They'll say that. No, ma'am, I don't feel comfortable with you driving. Okay, just just hang out right here. I'm gonna talk to fire and I wanna see what's going on. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what kind of options we have. All right. Okay. So she so she was inside. She was claiming she was having a heart attack. Okay. And then so when she came outside, she was screaming she was having a heart attack. Someone called 911. We okay. got here. She said she's having a heart attack. Her dog even let her know she's having a heart attack. She had a heart attack in the past. Um, she's having chest pain. She was nauseated. She's dizzy. She's sweaty. All little typical things. Okay. Uh, we checked her all. Her vitals are good and everything looks good. We did patch the hospital. And doctor's like, you know, she's alert and oriented. She can, re she can refuse, which she has a right to refuse. Okay. My concern was is is her driving home. She said she is, just wants to go she, home. like, showing some signs of, like, she can't drive, anything like that? No, I just concerned about her because she okay. said she just wants to go home to die. Oh, yeah. And, she's, and she tried to bend up because she said she, she says her dog's a service dog, the poodle, yeah. okay. and she gave a paper, it's basically a prescription pad for a doctor saying that the dog has to be with her at all times. OK. I don't know if that's deemed yeah, paperwork I'll, enough I'll for her. I'll try to see if she, she's going to be stubborn. We'll just probably, I'd rather take her home. I don't really want her to drive either. I'll talk to management here and see what we can do. Yeah, that's the thing is she was, um. I'm just worried about it, about her from here to being home. Okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, she bent over and seemed just to try to get some paperwork, she and, she, and she got real dizzy. Okay. So that's Don't what I'm worried about. Did you take a picture of the guy hitting my car, too, now? If there's a dent, you're paying for it. He didn't hit your car. He was just he tapping the back. He did, too. He hit the yeah. back. He tapped the back of your car to no, let you just didn't. stop. OK. Yeah. So I'm really concerned about your safety and driving. I would feel really, really bad if you got on the road and, and got into a collision, ma'am. Please let me take you home. I'll take you home. I'm taking my car. I'll home. even bring you back and get no, your car once you feel a little better. Right now. No, I, I, I don't feel comfortable letting you well, drive home, ma'am. I'm sorry. Drive me, that's fine. You know, okay, how about this, right? We'll figure something out. Maybe maybe an officer can drive your car to your house. We'll figure it out, okay? But I just really don't feel comfortable letting you drive home, okay? So you're not driving home right now. Okay, I'll take you home. Okay, let me tell you something. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. When I need a police officer, okay. there was not, not one around. I'm sorry when about I that. When I don't need a police officer, they're all around. I'm sorry you feel that way, ma'am. Is there anything, I mean, I'm trying to and help you know. Can you call my place and want a donation to the policeman's fund? Okay. No. I'm sorry. Well, I'm here now. I'm trying to help you. Look what happened. My what? whole right side is bruised. Hey, exactly, your whole right side is bruised, so yeah, that gives me even more reason long. for me not to feel comfortable for you to drive. That was because that lady that where I lived, hey, the hey, apartment hey, building, yeah. She beat me up because I went to see a friend. Yeah, they were like, she beat me up. Okay, well, I'm sorry about and, uh, that. And please, go around. When, you're not, when you don't need them, they're all around you. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take you home. How does that sound? Fine. I'm not okay. leaving my car, though. Okay, we'll figure that out. Okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get to just hang out for me, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we decide to do here with the police department. See if they can help us out here. They don't feel comfortable with her driving. I'm telling her, hey, you know what? I'll take you home. I'll take you. I'll drive you home and just leave your car here. I'm not taking my care. I'm like, okay, well, maybe we can get an officer to drive your car home. You're good with AR 12. She doesn't want to leave her car. No signs of impairment. No signs of impairment, but her whole right side, she said, is bruised up. So, from what? She said she fell. She said she called 911 last week. Nobody showed up. I was like, well, I, I, I find that hard to believe, ma'am. She well, she said she fell. Yeah, she, she told, told you that a neighbor beat her up. Yeah, she told me a neighbor beat her up. So she told me she fell. She told him the neighbor beat her up. And you guys never showed up. She's leaving. She, she's back now. Ma'am. Just, hey, just follow her. If, follow her. if you get any clues, pull her over. Okay, well, I guess it's more of a police issue now. It's out of our hands. So there you have it. She just drove off, and the PD is going to follow her home, and they're going to follow her and do what they got to do now. So that's where we're at with this. Hey guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.